Alright guys, and we are back, and it appears I was wrong in both instances. I've just been looking through some of the planets, because I went through the Traveller, all of the Tower, not there. And then I thought, if he is a vendor, surely he'd have some kind of, like, icon as to where he was. So I went to the farm, I went to everything else, and then I clicked on Nessus, and I saw this. Zer Agent of the Nine <laughs> is, on a, is on Nessus. <laughs> he is on a different planet. Which is like, weird, to say the least. But that is where Zert is, you want to head straight to Watcher's Grave on Nessus. And then, yeah, we can head over there and check out what he has. Now, but yeah, in the meantime, I do want to remind you guys that if you do like this video and you want to see more of this kind of weekly video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more daily-ish content. I mean, at this point, it's pretty much daily content because it's Destiny. Um, at some point, I will be doing a full walkthrough of the Leviathan Raid as well, um, but that's going to take a lot of editing and a lot of um, prep work to put together, because the first run we did, like I said with my fire team, was like 8 hours. It wasn't even just one fire team. We split up and then got new people, and it was like 10 hours of just trying to do the damn raid. Okay, let's head over here on our handy dandy sparrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, cord has been a little bit weird. Oh, oh, he's up here. Oh, I see him. All right, Nine baby. Let's see what you've got. This is why the nine sent me here. Mm, okay, that's that's an odd selection of things. Okay, my my recording is like really being weird right now. Hold on, guys. Alright, so first off, pick this up. I don't care whether you don't like fusion rifles, you have to pick this up. Um, it's probably the most amazing exotic weapon in the game that's ever been in Destiny, full stop. Um, it has 8 in the mag, and it basically means that if um, if you don't select for bosses, when you fire a burst at a boss, it obviously doesn't kill the boss, it just damages it. The next shot you fire will charge faster and then the next shot after that will f that you fire will charge faster if the boss still doesn't die so the less like the more shots you hit that don't kill the boss or that don't kill the enemy this thing gets faster fire rate so eventually it's just like <laughs> almost full auto and we have radiant flux doomfang pauldron and wings of sacred dawn now this to me is a little bit weird because you could pick all three of these at the start of the game during the story like this was the one that i picked for a hunter uh, this isn't the one that I picked for a Titan, but it was one that I could have picked. And then this is one that I picked for a, um, a Warlock. So, to me, that's a little bit weird. That's just a little bit weird. I mean, I think I'm going to pick those up anyway. I think I'm going to pick two up, actually. One to wear on my Titan once I get into level 20. And then one to infuse into a pair of legendary gauntlets when I get some on my Titan once he's at level 20. But, yeah, that is it. That is it for the um the exotic gear that Zer is selling he is up on top of a weird tree area so yeah um, if you want to click away now thank you so much for watching hopefully you pick up something you like from Zer. oh pardon me um so yeah but for now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly go through the perks on these items if you want to have a look at them now as opposed to going and finding them out for yourself so first off we have the Intrinsic perk for this exotic fusion rifle called Conserve Momentum, which is non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Then we have Chambered Compensator, which increases stability, controls recoil, and decreases handling speed. Extended mag, um, Im Impetus? Impetus? I think it's Impetus. Reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time, but then fitted stock for more stability and recoil control. We then have Raid and Flux, which, um, yeah, which, I was just reading that bit there, that sounds pretty cool, which is for a Hunter, the Hunter chest piece, Synapse, uh, Synapse Junctions, bleh, quick successive attacks with Arc Staff, increases damage output and duration, and then obviously you can choose between whether you want to have, whether you want to have more restoration, or more resilient, or more recovery, sorry, or more resilient. Then we have Doomfang Pulgeon. And these, these are pretty cool. So, shield bash melee kills, which is like the shoulder charge for sentinel shields. 
um, recharge shield throw. Melee ability kills recharge sentinel shield super. And then obviously you can choose between um, recovery and resilience again. And then the Wings of Sacred Dawn for a Warlock, which are like one of my most favourite exotics in the game, as you can see. They look just awesome. If you don't have these, please pick them up. They're so good. We have Tome of Dawn. When Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while midair suspends you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effects duration. Then you can obviously choose between some more mobility um, or some more recovery. But that's it. That's all, that's all I've got time for. Well, it's not all I've got time for, but it's all there is to do today. There probably will be some more videos coming out. I've been trying to hit a bunch of clips in Crucible to get ready for the first montage that will be coming out. And obviously with the Nightfall coming out, and then uh, with the Raid Story coming out, and then obviously Trials is coming out today as well. Also, listen to this gun. Let's just show off this gun a little bit. How amazing is that? Okay, so you see I got two kills there, and we can actually try this out. I got two kills, and the mag's usually 39. Okay, it's still 39, so I guess they maybe have to be like really, really rapid kills. Ooh, rock. Because that seems weird to me. Fifty-five. Okay, holy damn! <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So you reload. Not only do you get more ammo in the next clip, but you also get more damage for a short time as well. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. It also looks just unbelievable and amazing absolutely awesome but that is all i am going to be doing in this video so if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to smash the like button and if you are new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and as always stay salty guardians <laughs>